Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe DGV2 tutorial part 8. So this is a continuation video to the part 7. So where we discussed about the host variables and its importance and uh, uh, DCL gen and uh, how do we declare it and uh, how the host variable works. So in this video, uh, I would be I have come up with an example of Cobol plus DB2 program and how it works. So. So this would be your COBOL program as as usual, identification division program, ID and environment division, data division and working storage section. So in working storage section, you need to call your copy book. That is uh, uh, using DCL Gen, you might have created the copy book uh, by calling your table. So include program one. So that will have your co entire table structure and the host variable uh, values. So that get expanded when you use this exec SQL and end exec statement. So include SQL CA. It is used to it is used mainly to evaluate the SQL statements or uh, SQL queries when you work with SQL queries. So procedure division. Uh, so here you can uh, call your. Uh, you need to remember your uh, variable names in table and the host variable names in uh, in the working storage section that is in COBOL. So employee ID, employee name, employee salary into table name that is EMP. Uh, EMP is your table name that you have declared and where EMP underscore ID is equals to 101234. So all select statement these all are from your table actual table name and this is uh, the host variable and uh, this should be the here instead of value you can give your host variable values where you will be passing some values depends on the uh, depends on the uh, working so note all the host variables which are coded with sql statement must be prefixed with colon so it is easy to identify what what is the your a uh, table field is it a table field or is it a working storage field so it is better to define with colon I mean colon defines uh, which variable is it so number of columns and number of host variables must be same with the data type length so if you are using DCL gems that's it it will take care of it if you are trying to write it manually so be careful so examples let us see an example using DDL commands so in this first we will be working with insert commands so exec SQL insert into EMP EMP ID EMP name so you can see the values it is started with host variables host variables name and uh, so it is uh, it is uh, copying the data and it's inserting the data into your local working storage variables so based on this working storage variables you can you can play the operations and various set of things you you wanted to do so working with select column commands uh, exec sql select employee id employee name into employee ID employee name from emp where you uh, where emp id is equal to employee id host variable so in the same way update update table names at emp names emp so you can see one thing so here is like underscore is always referred with hyphen so it is separating this so working with update and working with delete command delete from emp where emp id is equal to emp id so that that's how uh, the cobol db2 program works so and the importance of e here host variables i mean host variables dcl gen and working with this so i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, you got some understanding about how the cobol db2 program works that's it it's very simple so whenever you uh, whenever you further be writing the co uh, cobol plus db2 program this is the core or basic thing you need to know so once you have understood this cobol program i assure you that you would be coding you would be coding a very very big programs and solving everything you don't you will be not getting any issues so once you understand this statements clearly so i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you so much for watching with this video. If you like or or if you want to share this video kindly, please share this, com like, comment or subscribe me on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned to maintain video tutorials. Thank you so much.